car here at the garage, nice secure place, and uh, do some bike riding, riding on some of the trails around here, go visit the kids. On my break here on the 52. Well, another day at uh, the college. Um, what can I say? Just parked my bus, pulled up the uh, cord here, and uh, look what happened. It came off. What bus number? Couldn't get this one started either this morning. Now I uh, broke the parking brake release. I don't know how it's supposed to fit back on there. There's nothing to grab it to uh, to release. I mean, I can push down on this, but to pull it back up, there's nothing to grab onto that. So it looks like I can't use the parking brake. So we use the back door like you know, like we did in the old days. <laughs> Well, what did you know that after I broke my latch, I got someone that needs the wheelchair, and of course I can't use the wheelchair unless the brake is set. And I couldn't set the brake because the knob is broke. So what thing I had in my handy bag was these pliers, and I was able to go down here and lift this back up to set it. So I could use the wheelchair because uh, this won't pull it up. It'll push it down but not pull it up. So I'm stuck at 185th and Farmington trying to load a wheelchair with a broken brake release valve and my handy pliers. So uh, 1794 is a bus. Wouldn't start this morning. Now the brake release valve is broke. Just another day in the life of TriMet. Got to get this mechanic to fix this because I cannot set and release my emergency brake. Hey, this is Bob again. This is the same day, actually, uh, Friday, and uh, because of the uh, because of the problem with the brake, uh, the mechanic could not fix it. So the guy that's relieving me now has to take this bus out of service and kick all the we had to kick all the passengers off at Willow Creek and take the bus back in uh, to Merlot to fix this problem so it's lack of service I hope this is not going to embarrass TriMet too much me telling what's going on here that we had in interruption of service because the buses are were breaking down so anyway, normally I'd be taking the train back to the garage, but now since the bus has to go to the garage to get a new bus and no service on 52 for a while, um, I'm going to ride with the bus driver back to the garage. And it's the first time I filmed on a on a bus before. I'm off duty, so I guess it's okay. Anyway, another uh, eventful day at TriMet here. And please don't give me a bad time, because I just may have to retire a little sooner. That's all. Like, like right now. 
Well, as I'm going back to the garage, I can't help but reflect on uh, what a crazy week this has been because coming back to work after being off a lot in June. First of all, I get hit by a car when I'm riding my bike in the Merlot parking lot by another bus driver driving his car out of the parking lot, runs into my bus, and then he wants me to pay for the damage on his car. Then I come back and I got a complaint because a driver or a passenger missed his connection off of the 52 and wanted to catch the 89 and I was late coming out of the Willow Creek Transit Center. And he was so mad, he said he's suing TriMet because he missed his connection because I was a little bit late. He said I had knocked a woman over and kicked a kid off the bus. All of that was false. Anyway, he wants to see me punished. I have to fill out an incident report over that. Another uh, fun day at TriMet. Usually it's not quite so eventful, but it's kind of like being at Disneyland here with all these characters. Anyway... Here it comes.